Drowning. Good <laughs> job. Um, he, good job. Great Ryan. job, Snake. Uh, so he he is a uh, ah yes. We're I've just had connected. news from our uh, from our wizards, and they are tracking the whereabouts right now. Thank you very much. Uh, so he puts uh, he puts a he puts two hundred gold pieces on the table, as well as a little extra something, a potion of healing. Um, he says, uh, "Feel free to uh, this as you see fit." I'm gonna roll investigation because everything has been fake so far. <laughs> <laughs> Idea. You are none the wiser. All right. <laughs> It looks, wow. it looks legit to you. <laughs> it looks like to you. It looks like four hundred right gold. <laughs> um, you're not like uh, you, Malun isn't sure if she should trust it. She doesn't trust these civilized things like technology and money. She <laughs> was was what even true. is money? It's just like it's metal. Where's the value in those? She wants to be paid in chickens. You can't even eat it. Exactly. It's bullshit. That's what it is. It's not even use as useful as bullshit. You can it's use bullshit, bullshit to fertilize your fields and stuff. Oi, but wait, Molly, you can hide the chicken to tell you. Money. You know, what? money? We exchange for goods and services. Yeah. Goodbye, food. <laughs> now great. I understand. <laughs> My eyes have been open to the wonders of capitalism! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, I'm born! <laughs> Before he leaves, uh, the harper like keeps you a warning. <laughs> She's Tiger Millionaire now! This is amazing! <laughs> A free market will fix all of our problems! <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle! <laughs> okay. Can this be fair economics for all! <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> oh my god. Um, so anyway, um, a he a leaves a... <laughs> he, he he leaves a, a warning as uh, as he goes out. He says that uh, we've seen an increased interest in all things related to dragons lately, and we've also heard of more dragon sightings in the Moonsea region and elsewhere. Keep your eyes and ears open for further information on dragons. It might save your life. So, uh, let me give out the experience. Um, so, <laughs> for the combat that you bypassed, uh, what was it? Uh, there were... Uh, uh, My eyes have been open to the ways um, of modelism. I didn't do the combat, but... Okay, there were... Uh, there was 200 plus 100... Plus, uh, uh, there were two, three of those. Mm. 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 Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna grab the calculator and. I just realized he has going on in the background. Yeah, it's good. It's nice, nice tunes. A perfect time to learn about capitalism. Right now, jam. you're watching One Piece. Okay. After that is Naruto. <laughs> All right. And later, Dragon Ball Z. You're watching Toonami on Cartoon Thanks. Network. <laughs> okay, you oh, get no, 575 yeah. XP. Wow, that is so... infuriatingly close to being leveled up. You know what? Fuck it. Just get, just get leveled up. Yeah. I'm sure that yes. it's supposed yeah. to get you to the next level. Like I probably added it up wrong. Yeah. So, 575 everybody, yeah. experience brings us to 875 out of 900. Nice. 
Oh, yeah, I must have done the, le the adding up wrong, because yeah. that seems too, like, too perfect to not be. Okay, uh, yeah, so everybody get to level three. Um, right, we'll do the... Three. Yeah, okay, uh, should we do the HP now? Just... Yeah, sure. I probably won't be able to do everyone's skills, but let's just do the, the HP. Okay, so, uh... Who we got? We got a druid, so you're first. Uh, druid HP is... Alright. Five plus your constitution modifier. Okay. So add that to whatever oh, you got. Oh, by that much? Uh, yes. Okay. So you increase it from 15 to... What, 22? No, I think it's 21. So uh, oh yes, yeah, yeah my 21. Modifier is only one. Yeah, okay, uh, so you're and max HP are now 21. Nice. Okay, uh, next person along is... is old mm -hmm. enough to drink. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, oh. so fighter, so Steve. Uh, your HP goes up by six plus your constitution modifier. Okay. Some serious going on there. Shrag, did you hear me? Oh, yeah, I leveled up. I got oh, right. seven HP. Yep, that's Con correct. modifier is one uh, plus six. I've been yeah, playing a fighter uh, with D10 for like... Yeah. Four. Um, your guys set up to be an Eldric Knight. That's um, what I thought. I don't yeah. know how they work, but sure. Uh, they, they can cast uh, spells and stuff from the wizard spell list. So if you okay. want to pick out any spells while I'm just doing this, go for it. Uh, you know where the wizard spell list is and everything. Sure. How many? Um, uh, you get uh, two cantrips and you know three first level spells and have two first level spell slots. Okay, two uh, cantrips, can... three first level spells, two slots. Yes, uh, and uh, you can only pick spells that are of uh, abjuration or evocation uh, schools. So only okay. abjuration and evocation. Um, uh, oh wait, no. One of the spells you pick can be something else, but oh. and your cantrips can be anything. Cantrips okay. can be anything, one first level spell of any school, and two spells of abjuration or evocation. Okay, um, who's next? Uh, we have a... Oh wait, 3PO? Yeah, what's up? I'm Noe Baggins. Hello. 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 Uh, hang on, we're doing Ranger first, because Ranger's oh, okay. first in the book. Uh, okay, uh, Cory, your HP increases by 6 plus your constitution modifier. Oh, that's a 7. Cool. Uh, yep, that's correct. So your HP increases by 7. Um, do you get anything new at this level? Uh, your first level spell slot, in, you have three first level spell slots now, uh, so nice. that goes up to three, like that, um, and you know one additional first level spell, but you'll have to pick that later, I'm afraid. Um, is there anything else you get at the... Oh, you get to pick your ranger archetype, um, which is... Uh, okay. Uh, I recommend the Hunter archetype uh, because Beastmaster is kind of broken at the moment and not in a way that even benefits you. Uh, so, okay, uh, uh, let's see what we need up. Okay, uh, okay, so there are three different skills you could pick from. Uh, you could get Colossus Slayer which, uh, when you hit a creature that um, is below its, H below its hit point maximum, but not dead yet, you can deal an extra 1d8 da extra damage. There's Giant Killer, which is uh, when a large or larger creature within 5 feet of you hits and misses you with an attack, 
you can use your reaction to make an immediate counterattack. And there's hard breaker, which um, when when on your turn you make a weapon attack, you can make another weapon attack with the same weapon against a different creature that is within five feet of the original target and within range of your weapon. So they're all, all pretty cool. Well, as much as I'd like to go from the thing that has giant in the name because I have giant in my last name here, uh, Colossus Slayer seems like the best option. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Colossus Slayer, uh, when a creature is below its hit point maximum uh, and you hit it with a weapon attack, you can deal an extra 1d8 damage. Okay. Alright. So if you could add that into like the second box of your class sheet. Alright, Paul, now you. Okay. Uh, so, Paul, your HP increases by 5 plus your constitution fire. Alright, so I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, okay. Yep, yeah. and uh, you pick a roguish archetype uh, yeah. out of Thief Assassin or, um, or Arcane Trickster. Thief I recommend boys. Thief personally. Yeah, okay, so you get... Uh, fast hands. Uh, so when you use your cunning action, uh, you can use it to make a sleight of hand check to disarm a tra trap, open a lock, or use an object. Okay. Nobody can catch mm -hmm. those hands, they are too fast. <laughs> yep. So fast. Fast hands. Super fast. So fast. Hands. Oh, and your sneak attack increases to 2d6. Uh, oh, sorry, Vesper, I never checked if you get any new abilities, actually. Oh. Uh, uh, Vesper, 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 Druid. Druid, you are so cool. Moon and Druid. Uh, your spell slots, you now have four first level Perfect. slots and two second level slots. Perfect. Uh, but I'm afraid I don't really have time to sort out your spells, because spells take ages. That is okay. Uh, okay. Um, really does anything else happen with Get you them. at third level? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yep. 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 Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's everything for now. Uh, okay. So, um, you guys go off to bed and stuff, everybody sleeps. Um, alright. Uh, and let's stop this. What the hell? <coughs> what? I didn't know what Paul oh. was doing. It was, um, Homestuck. RPG sleep music. Oh. 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 All right. Uh, all right. So, all right. So sort the next of. adventure is um. All right. Uh. So uh. So far, you've been having a pleasant stay at uh, Madame Friona's tea kettle. Oh yeah. Don't forget to split that money between you. So you got two hundred. Yeah. Oh, they're all pieces. So split between you, that's like 50 each, right? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay, so you've uh, you've continued staying at the tea house. Oh. And uh, uh, after a peaceful night's rest, Bree is one of the uh, daughters, but not the previous one who spoke to you. I'm going to use this. I know this is Hickory's thing, but I've only got so many halflings. Okay, so Bree is comes in. Um, and, you should have uh, put her on the dogs. She, she, she says it's uh, it's breakfast time. Uh, breakfast is ready, so you guys head on up and get like eating your breakfasts. Uh, Eat a horse. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> it looks like Ven's gonna eat breakfast with like those huge swords. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you know. No forks, only sure knives. Sure. I'm always at the ready. Uh, Two arms, men. 
Correct. Okay, uh, so um, suddenly from out in the street, uh, disturbing your pleasant uh, breakfast of, uh, it even says what the breakfast is, you have a freshly mailed, made wild berry jam on warm biscuits. How specific? I, I presume it's like the American meaning of biscuit, like yeah. like a scone or yeah, something. Yeah, jelly on cookies. Yeah, jammy yeah, dodgers! She's <laughs> just eating jammy dodgers for breakfast. Jammy dodgers for breakfast! That doesn't seem that That must be bizarre. Um, uh, let me just find a commoner. Okay, so uh, you hear a loud kind of uh, screaming out in the street. Um, it's dragon. With, with a random... I just oh, need a... It's Dagron! Commoner oh. Sprite. Dagron! Um, womp womp! You that will do this, this farmer lady. Um, the there's a commotion empty. out in the street. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can yeah. hear... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. That's good. You can hear a, a bunch of words. The only words you make out initially are help and family. Um, oh no! Uh, and so... Uh, Fiona uh, brings her in and sits her down with a cup of tea. Um, here we go. Uh, she she sort of fusses over the lady. Um, and, uh, so this this lady uh, she's crying hysterically and she has a a, a calico. I've always wanted to be a calico. Meow meow meow. The eighth grade <laughs> woman is horrified. Sing the song, quick. <laughs> I hack up a furball and then <laughs> go back to being comforting. You're a cat. I imagine this is what it would be like if you saw a four dimensional being. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, she She's calmed down somewhat. She, yes. By, uh, like stroking the the cat, she she didn't yes. notice you turn into the cat, so she's oh well, cat. Um, so uh, she once she's come down a bit with a cup of tea and a cat, uh, she says cup that cat. her name is Millivant Moss. Uh, her yes. family farms pe farms a peat bog about an hour away from the si this city of Flat. Earlier this morning, her husband and children, as well as a few hired hands, were attacked by goblins. She was able to leap onto a wagon and escape with her youngest child, Bo, who's the baby boy, uh, and she drove away quick, turning just long enough to see goblins dragging her people away to the east. <gasps> it, looks like, it looked like they were still alive, perhaps being taken captive. Uh, she needs someone to come to her family's aid, rescuing them if possible. Let's do it. I can't talk because I'm a cat, but we should definitely do um, it. Now, oh. just as um, just as she's finishing up the story, um, a couple of uh, the city's uh, guards, known as uh, they're called the the Black Fist Guards. Um, they they come in and they're like, oh, I heard there was a commotion in here. What's this going on then? <laughs> and uh, uh, she she tells um, she she tells them the story and they just roll their eyes and they say, oh, well, that's not in our jurisdiction. It's only only events within the city itself. Very sorry, Miss. Bye. Yep, that's fair. Good Off they go. And asshole oh come on dicks um the uh and milvin starts crying again and uh and asks won't somebody help her she she looks to you guys and says uh and asks if you're adventurers but of course okay. miss <laughs> like she's offering i'm accepting the yeah, offer yeah no same <laughs> that's so ex that's so extortionary. That's that's that's. Uh, uh. That's how this works. I mean, we're gonna do it. Fuck! I don't like capitalism anymore. I hate it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but I can't. Very I can't brief. talk, so I just hiss. I'll oh yeah, you, you can't talk money. while you're a cat. <laughs> I'll 
honestly, <laughs> if you need money to pay for this, then I can give you that I got from our last venture. Sweet. Like I mean, two, I members of, two members of our party pay the other two <laughs> members of our party to I, come along. I don't care one way or the other. <laughs> if I get paid, I'll do it. I've become jaded on the merits of capitalism! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you're now, you're, you're now a libertarian. I grunt and take the 50 gold to Zoe's hand. Libertarians are just Republicans that want to smoke pot. Well, it's, it's not 50 gold pieces, it's a promissory note for 50 gold pieces. No, no, no. My 50 gold pieces is the one I got earlier. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice Over of to you. Over to Owe. So, we're okay. going there. Um, what? Alright, I'll just uncat you. Yeah, um, let's stop being cat. Okay, so she says that she can uh, lead you to where they vanished and uh, hope. Oops, you moved. Okay, hopefully you can uh, track them from there since uh, some of you like uh, kind of naturey types. Okay, let me just go to the bog. Um, I don't mean go to the toilet by that. Libertarian is a better pun than libertarian. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and um, move the characters over to here. Okay, so uh, she leads you out into this marsh, and uh, she says that this is where her family farm the peat. Um, they they collect peat and uh, they they sell it as like like. Well, they some some of it they sell as fertilizer, and some of it they grow things in the rich peaty soil that is good for growing things in. Um, Love peat. Yeah, uh, but people at home don't use fertilizers with peat in because it is a limited natural resource that takes a long time to form in nature. So uh, you should use fertilizers that don't contain peat because. Yeah, don't don't so use a pole of heat. It's an important natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, you're in uh, the peat bog, um, and uh, she says that. Uh, Chad's convinced it's Mario. <laughs> God damn it. Um, she I'm knows that it looked like they were goblins, the things that took her family. Uh, they took her husband Halred, her daughters Alina and Kithian, and her sons Quail and Voland, and six hired hands who were at the farm when the attack took place. Um, so, yeah, uh, she says that's about as much help as she can be and says that uh, she's going to go off back to the farmhouse to uh, just try to get everything in order and right. uh, look after her little baby. Later, Mario. Okay. Good question. So